Jesus drives me crazy. What's up, Money Geeks? Mr. V here. Welcome to another video, guys. So in today's video, um, I want to talk to you guys about the one feature within M1 Finance that drives me nuts. Um, I love M1 Finance. They have really beautiful features, but when it comes to this one feature, I get so frustrated. We have all these uh, investing platforms from M1 to SoFi to Robinhood to Betterman to Acon to Stash, name them. They all have bit and pieces of really good features or functionalities. And then you're sitting there thinking like, why can't someone just grab all those different platforms, mash them together, just mash them together, and then, ta-da! And just release this one ultimate platform that answers every single need that we have or that I have as an investor. Um, I know that's not going to happen anytime soon. So that's why I'm using a Robin Hood for one reason. I'm using M1 for another reason. I'm using Vanguard for another reason. I'm using Weibo for another reason. Um, again, you have to use these different platforms for your different needs. So um, I've been using Robin Hood uh, for a while and they have some really good features and I love it. And then M1 came along. I'm like, oh my God. It's like you're dating a girl. And then you see another girl that's so beautiful and good thing. Um, they have all the characteristics that you want. And he's like, ha, huh, I'm going to go chase that chick. And then you get there, you realize like, huh, she's beautiful looking, but she doesn't have all the qualities you're looking for. Right? So that's what happened. So I got with M1. We said, I started checking M1. It was like, oh, M1 has some really good features, but not everything. So how can I use M1? And this is how I, I kind of broke down my investing. I do my swing trade or maybe active trading in Robinhood. And then I do my dividend investing in uh, M1 Finance because the dividend investing is long term. Um, I, I've started using Wubo to, to kind of get into, um, just get the platform tested and see how it works. But today it's all about M1 Finance. Um, if you are somebody that likes passive investing, I'm going to buy, sit on it and wait and ride, or I'm going to buy, sit on it and collect those dividends, then M1 Finance is for you. I love the interface. I've talked about that here. I've actually done a review of M1 Finance here on the channel. I, and I've actually done a video showing you guys my dividend portfolio in M1 Finance. I'm going to hook that up here so you can definitely go check it out. And I'm going to be doing that every month showing you guys where my portfolio is at um, in M1 Finance. But there's still this one feature in M1 Finance that, boy, ah, I can't stand it. You know, and I'm thinking like, uh, why can't Robin Hood just you know give me that give me the features that I get I have in M1 Finance or M1 Finance Why can't you just copy everything in Robin Hood and add it to what you have right now and give it to me? Uh, again, that's not gonna happen So when I go in Robin Hood, uh, I could do the little things I could do and I'm out I go in M1 Finance um, It has that beautiful pile that you can see I create my pile with different sectors. So I have energy, healthcare, technology, utility, um, just name it. I have all these different uh, um, sectors that I have that constitute my pile. And so it looks beautiful. The layout and everything um, really looks good. The visual looks perfect. But here is the one thing that I can't stand with M1 Finance, the trading window. Let me explain. M1 Finance, um, just, out of the, just out of the box has two trading windows, one at 9 a.m. my time and the other trading window at 2 p.m. my time. So here is the thing, the 9 a.m. trading window in M1 Finance is free. If you want to have access to the 2 p.m. trading window, you have to pay the premium version. You have to pay for the premium version. And I'm not about to pay for the premium version when I can use a free platform. That's not fair to me. Okay, so, and I'm thinking, Okay, I have this 9 a.m. trading window. Here's how it gets so frustrating. Assume that you see a stock at 10 a.m. and it, you're reading about that stock, investigating, and it says that stock is gonna go up more than likely. And then you say, hey, this stock is currently at $10. I want to place an order. Say, hey, buy 100 shares of that particular stock, and you put, it, you put that order in M1 Finance. 
from 10 a.m. that you place that order, it's not going to get executed until 9 a.m. the very next day. So you can place your order for a stock at $10 a share. And by the time it gets executed, that particular stock is $30 per share. That's how frustrating it is. And that's why when I look at M1 Finance, sometimes I just want to hold it and shake it. I'm like, fix this, you know? Um, because look at that, you, you did your homework and you wanted to go in in time, but M1 held it until 9 a.m. the next day to actually execute that trade. So it gets me so, so frustrated. Again, I love M1. Some of the features in there are just beautiful, but when it comes to um, executing your trade, your trade windows, it's not something I want to deal with. It's super, super frustrating. So that's the one thing I wanted to share with you guys in this video. So let me know in the comment section if you do use, if you're using M1, what are some of the beautiful features that you see in M1 and what are the frustrating uh, features in M1 that you can't really stand? Let me know in the comment section. Like, share, subscribe. And as always, guys, stay motivated.